Whether you're new or already following us, welcome to Driveaholics. I'm Anton. I'm Marlon. We are a couple of car enthusiasts exploring Australia's best roads and scenery. So join us in our adventures as we share our discoveries from waterfalls and snow-capped mountains to rainforests and remote beaches. Make sure to follow us on YouTube by hitting subscribe and then the bell icon to be notified of new uploads. Also, follow us on Instagram. Previously on Driveaholics, Anton picked me up from the side of the road and we decided to head to the Camel's Hump in the Matadon Ranges. At Camel's Hump, we explored the surrounding area and talked about locations for astrophotography. Once we finished exploring, we walked back to the car to head to our next location. After finding a parking spot, we arrived at the Memorial Cross after a short walk. The Memorial Cross is a war memorial that was built by a private citizen back in 1934 to commemorate World War I soldiers. Since then, it's been used to commemorate soldiers from recent wars. In 1994, this site was deemed as a World Heritage Site and in the following year, the shrine was renovated with modern materials to improve its longevity. The cross stands 21 meters high from the summit of Mount Macedon, where dawn services are held every year on Anzac Day for remembrance. There are quite a few facilities here at the Memorial Cross which caters to tourists. These include picnic grounds, a scenic lookout called Major Mitchell Lookout, and top of range tea rooms on site. We've just finished the Memorial Cross. Anton's breaking the law, crossing the single line. I was saving a cyclist's life, okay? Um, I'm a hero. Drift! Doesn't that not drive you crazy? So we're here at the magnetic road. There are some people doing some pretty funny things. So the, the pretty the, dangerous things. Yeah, too. very dangerous. But the idea is this road looks like it's going downhill, but in fact, if you stop in the middle of it or you put a bottle down, it'll look to roll uphill. But you can see some people doing some crazy things, like turning, stopping in the middle of the road, turning on hazard lights, and then watching themselves reverse up the hill. Not reverse, like roll up the hill. Yeah, roll up the hill. That's right. Um, this and is a 100 kilometer zone, exactly. by the way. So this is a bit crazy. We'll do the responsible thing and we'll just put a bottle down. <laughs> you watch. <laughs> All right, Marlon's deployed the prop. Whoa, it's accelerating. Can't tell that it's uphill. Huh? I don't think so. You just have to take our word for it. It's uphill. All right, it, it, it looks better this way. Marlon, deploy the prop. Marlon's deploy the prop. And, and, yeah, help it a bit. Oh my god, it's rolling uphill. The rules, the rules of physics are broken. So we're in the car park of the Hanging Rock joint, back with people. People just follow us everywhere. Right, Mom? Yep, can't get away from it. Yeah, we're just walking to the trailhead, or really the place where you start uh, to walk up the mountain. How's it going, Mom? I can feel the heart rate increasing. Yeah. Impressive things though. The Hanging Rock is a distinct rock formation that was caused by magma that cooled and contracted, causing it to split into rough columns about 6.25 million years ago. This rock formation is 718 meters above sea level and is part of the same formation that include the Camel's Hump and Cozier's Rock. Today, the site has a number of attractions to keep you occupied which range from horse races when in season, fishing by the dam, wildlife walks, picnic grounds dotted around the site, walking tracks, and even the odd concerts, famously by Ed Sheeran, Elton John, Rod Stewart, and many more. So I'm all, almost at the summit. I've lost Anton. I'm not sure where he is. I don't think we'll ever hear from him. Let's see if he's at the summit. <laughs> Thank you. 
I've found Anton. He made it, he's alive. That's right. He's all in one piece. How many books have you written about my disappearance? So many, man. I've got so many bestsellers as well. Yeah. <laughs> the final steps to the summit. Ooh. Spooky. This is apparently the chapel. I guess you sort of go inside and have a holy experience. Let's see. Oh, lizard. coming down just follow the blue arrows to the car pack yeah don't wander aimlessly around yeah don't try to improvise what did you think of your hanging rock experience Marlon? it was good it was by a lot of people that's i think it'll be nice uh that's all you can say yeah. it's quiet or like probably in the wind it'll be nice maybe slippery <laughs> slippery hey Marlon, what would be your one piece of advice for someone coming to the hanging rock for the first time uh, be prepared or we'll take it easy because it's really steep. Be prepared to push people out of the way with shoulders and uh, elbows. Yes, we found it. It's the hanging rock. And this is it. This is the holy place. Have you made your wish, Melon? I wish you could have an Audi again, right? No. No? What else? Aston Martin? An E92 M3. That's, that, that's just a weak wish. The new M3, maybe. All wheel drive. Yeah, no, I don't know about that. So, this is it. The last final few steps of the last place on today's agenda. Yeah. It was Good a workout, by the way. Yeah, we can we can tell, Marlon. You, yeah, no. You're well hydrated. Very, uh, like too hydrated. I told you not to drink all that gin on the way here. Gotta keep it going somehow. All right. Yeah, that's true. Charlie Sheen said uh, brandy is a good drink to exercise. That's it for another episode of Driveaholics. That's right. If you like the video, like it. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Click the bell icon as well to get the notifications if we upload any content. Yeah, and follow us on Instagram of all the places we'll be traveling. That's right. We'll see you next time. See you. Oh, so what have you been up to the last couple of months, man? Staying home, locked in, got rid of the S3 and I got a Passat. What? I got a Passat. Get out. Fine. <laughs>